Hello everyone how are you all here is a good news which i want to share with you all that my youtube channel has completed more than 500 subscriber in just last 2 months it is possible just because of your love and support i heartily thanks to you all for your support i hope that you will continue give your love and support to my youtube channel and to the new viewers i want to say that please like share and subscribe my channel don't go without subscribe and now come to today's class this is the third part of the third chapter how many squares and in today's overview we have three topics the first is how many squares in me and the second is try triangles and the third is complete the shape now come to the first topic which is how many squares in me so here uh, this girl is asking a question that what is the area of this triangle so here we have a whole rectangle okay and this rectangle is divided in two triangles here you can see uh, which is equal okay so we have to find the area of this green triangle so here is a suggestion that the the triangle is half of the rectangle and the rectangle of area 2 square cm so its area is dash square cm so here you can easily find its area that uh, the triangle is just half okay of this rectangle so what is the area of this rectangle yes it is 2 square cm 1 and 1 2 2 square cm so its half is 1 square cm so here the answer is 1 square cm now the second is is this shape half of the big rectangle yes this shape this uh, blue shape is the half of the whole rectangle now hmm so its area is dash square cm okay let's find its uh, area so to find the area of this blue shape first you have to find the area of the whole rectangle so you by counting the number of square you can easily find the area okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so total here are eight square box it means the uh, area is 8 square cm because it's one uh, one side is 1 cm of 1 square okay means one square box one side is 1 cm remember that for that the whole area will be 8 square cm and this blue shape is half of the whole shape so its half will be 4 square cm now come to the next question write the area in square cm of the shapes below so here we have uh, three and three six uh, figures and we have to find its area so first come to a uh, how, what is the area of this a now uh, to find its area first we have to find the area of the rectangle which is in pink color because this rectangle sorry this triangle is half of this rectangle yes so find the area of this rectangle that it has how many squares so it has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 the area of the uh, whole rectangle is 12 square cm so its half will be yes 6 square cm so the area of uh, the shape a is 6 square cm now come to b uh first you have to draw the square line okay which is not visible so draw the lines to get a square box then you can easily get the area so first uh, uh, count the whole squares so the whole squares we have 1 2 3 and 4 so here you can write four whole squares okay now count uh, that here you can see that 1 Two, okay. Means this cross one, two. This cross two, and this two cross, and this two cross. These are the half, okay, of the whole squares. So you can means uh, one half and one half. It will be become one square box. Okay, so you will count as this is one, this is two, 
this is 3 and this is 4 squares so you can write another 4 squares half and half may, will make a whole now here you will see that uh, this one okay this corner uh, boxes are one fourth of the whole square right so here you have how many one fourth squares one two three and four so four one fourth you have it means one whole square you will get so total number of square is four plus four eight plus one nine so the area of uh, uh, shape b is nine square centimeter now uh, come to c uh, before finding the area of c i want to uh, share one basic concept to find area that uh, uh, if you have a whole square like this okay so whole square box if you have so it means the area is one square okay it's very simple one square now uh, if the portion means the shaded portion is more than half like uh, this one okay more than half this is colored so this is more than half uh, so it will be also one whole square okay you will count as I am saying now if there is a half okay so you will count as half square and if the shaded portion is less than uh, half so you will not count it so remember these four things because it is very important to find the area okay now I repeat once again this all if you have whole square box so you will count as one square to find its area now if you have more than half clear if you have the area uh, portion more than half so that will be also count as one and the if you have the half of any square so that you will count as one upon two means half okay no change and if you have uh, less than half so that will be not counted in area remember that now uh, here you can easily see the square boxes of uh, shape C so first count the whole squares 1 and 1 2 so you have 2 and uh, these two cross are more than half okay so 1 and 1 2 two portions you have more than half so it will be counted as two squares and this uh, these portions are less than half so you will not count it so the area of shape C is 4 square centimeter remember that the main concept is that which I told now come to E here you don't have the square boxes okay so first find the square boxes for that you have to draw the lines by using a scale because you, here you can see that my lines are not uh, uh, straight so now count the whole square my dear friends let me take the another color now here you have one two three just a second uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and eighteen so you have eighteen whole squares it means 18 now uh, count the halves here you have an one half two three four five six here you have six halves so six halves means you will take as three whole squares so 18 plus 3 21 yes you got 21 square centimeter is the area of this shape C now uh, come to D oh it was missed you can easily count it uh, 1 2 3 4 5 5 whole squares are here okay and 2 halves so 2 halves means 1 so 5 plus 1 6 a square centimeter is the area of the uh, figure D or shape D now come to F here you can easily see the square boxes so the whole squares you will count 1 2 3 4 okay so we have 4 whole squares and now you will count uh, the squares which are more than half so here you got 1 2 3 and 4 so you will take as 4 squares okay because these are more than uh, half squares so more than half squares will be counted as whole square so 4 and 4 8 now uh, these portions which I am coloring these are less than half so you will don't you will not take it 
so 4 and 4 8 so we have the area of uh, shape F is 8 square centimeter now in the next page we have the second topic try triangles so what is the task let's know uh, here the girl is saying that uh, both the big triangles in this rectangle have the same area here you can see that this blue triangle is half of the whole rectangle okay so to find the area of the blue triangle okay you have to first find the area of the whole rectangle and now find the area of the whole rectangle so just count the vertically and horizontally number of squares then multiply because it is a rectangle rectangle so 1 2 3 4 okay multiply by 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 4 ja 20 okay so we can say that the uh, area of the blue uh, triangle is 20 sorry 10 square centimeter because uh, blue triangle is half of the rectangle okay now uh, similarly the area of the red triangle will be also 10 square centimeter because it is uh, mentioned that both triangles are half of the whole rectangle now uh, here is a suggestion that the blue triangle is half of the big rectangle and area of the big rectangle is 20 square centimeter which we found and so the area of the blue triangle is 10 square centimeter we have already found it and what about the red tri triangle we have also found it that is also 10 here is a way to find the area so you can see that the whole uh, rectangle is divided in two color the first one is in uh, like uh, light orange and the second is in green so count the number of the uh, this orange square so this is 1 2 3 4 and 1 2 3 4 3 is a 12 okay so half of the 12 is uh, that is 6 clear because this portion is looking just like half and this is also another half of this green rectangle so find the area of the green rectangle 1 2 and 1 2 3 4 4 2 is a 8 and half of the 8 is 4 so now you will add this two halves 6 and 4 10 we already found it that the area of the red triangle is 10 square centimeter and here we found it once again now uh, in the next page uh, yes you are right and you know what you can draw many more triangles of area 10 square centimeter in this rectangle try drawing them we will try to draw this now complete the shape this is our third topic now uh, let's have a read first suruchi drew two sides of a shape here you can see okay one and one two sides c asked asif to complete the shape with two more sides so here is asif so that's its area is 10 square centimeter and here he completed the shape like this okay so these are the first two sides which was drawn by Suruchi and these two are drawn by yes the boy Asif now its area is 10 square centimeter can you count it let's count it first first count the whole squares so here we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 total 5 whole squares we have now count the squares which are more than half so here you will get 1 uh, 2 this is 3 okay then there is no other more than half squares so you will write it 3 now uh, check the other so this one has no area it will be also not counted it will be not counted now here you have 1 1 half 2 half 3 half and 4 half okay so 4 halves means two whole squares so now count this all add this all 5 plus 3 8 plus 2 10 so yes asif was right he made a correct shape with 10 square centimeter now how did uh, the girl is saying that how did you do this so here is the reply oh that's easy if you look at the green 
area it is 4 square centimeter and below it is the yellow area of 6 square centimeter so total mix 10 so is he correct yes he is correct we can say explain how the green area is 4 square centimeter and the yellow area is 6 square centimeter we have already explained it now in the next page uh, let's read it oh i thought of doing it differently if you draw like this the area is still 10 square centimeter so this whole area is also 10 square centimeter can you count yes let's count it first first count the uh, whole squares so here you have one two three four and uh, yes only you have four whole squares now count more than uh, half squares so here you will get one two this is three and this is four yes only four more than half squares now count halves if you have so here you have one uh, this is two this is three and this is four so four halves means two whole squares now other portions are not taken as the area so 4 plus 4 8 plus 2 10 so yes it is also 10 square centimeter now is suruchi correct yes suruchi is correct how much is the blue area that is also 6 because the green was 4 square centimeter can you think of some other ways of completing the shape yes we, we, we can think about it now try some other ways yourself will try now ask your friends at home to solve this so here we have a practice time so we have three questions here so let's try to solve this all one by one so the first question is uh, this is one of the side of the a uh, shape complete the shape so that it is its area is four square centimeter so it's very easy okay the first vertical is taken slightly to the left side so the second we will take right side okay and for that let me zoom it first so uh, another slant line you will take like this okay and now join the base so now count that the area is four is four square centimeter or not so first one two you have two whole squares and uh, one half two half three half four half four halves means two so total four square centimeter you got so we made it now next question is here two sides uh, of a shape are drawn here yes one two complete the shape by drawing two more sides so that its area is less than two square centimeter so the main thing is we have to use two sides okay and that should be not more than two square centimeter so first count how much area it is so one half one half it is means two half means one whole square okay means one square centimeter we have already done so uh, you have to make it uh, less than 2 square centimeter so it's very easy uh, the two sides you will draw like this okay this yes now this uh, portions are not taken in area because it is less than half okay now we have done it the second task now the third we have here is a rectangle of area 20 square centimeter okay means the length is 10 and the breadth is 2 means 10 by 2 total 20 square centimeter now the first a is draw one straight line in this rectangle to divide it into two equal triangles what is the area of each of the triangle yes first we can answer this that what is the area of each triangle so we can say that uh, it will be 10 square centimeters because both triangles will be equal okay now how you will draw it so watch it properly to draw it uh, let's name the vertex first a b c and d so you have to match a to d or you can match b to c okay by drawing a straight line and to draw a straight line you can use a scale so i am just trying to draw a straight line from point b to point c so let me try this oh wait it's not correct oh yes it is a little 
correct so the two corners you have to join so you can write that uh, a c b triangle a c b is 10 square centimeter with area and b c d is also 10 square centimeter with area both have equal now the b uh, task b draw one straight line in this rectangle to divide it into two equal rectangles okay so we you know that the length is 10 centimeter so you have to take choose a point with 5 centimeters so 1 2 3 4 5 so here you can draw a straight line okay and we have divided this whole rectangle into two rectangles the first one is this one and this is the second one okay now what is the area of each of the smaller rectangles so we here you have a smaller rectangles this one okay and the area of this one square centimeter is one how can you say because its length is one centimeter and breadth is also one square uh, one centimeter so one one ja one square centimeter it's very easy now c number draw two straight lines in this rectangle to divide it into one rectangle and two equal triangles so let's know how we will do this okay we have to draw two straight lines okay in this rectangle so first uh, from the one two three four five here you can draw a line okay but to make it two rectangles and now another line from here to make two triangles okay this is the first one and this is the second triangle completed yes now the area you have to find so what will be the area first find the area of the uh, rectangles so it will be 10 square centimeter and it will be also 10 square centimeter okay because it is the half rectangle of the whole the whole was 20 square centimeter so the half will be 10 now we draw a straight line here okay to get two triangles so the area of this triangle will be half of the whole rectangle so its area will be 5 square centimeter and also the area of this triangle will be also 5 square centimeter so in this way you found the area okay now here is a more two questions what is the area of the rectangles and what is the area of each of the triangles we have already found it okay now that's all for today's class my dear students see you all in the next video till then stay at home be healthy bye bye